in the Quajon Ballista. Do not let the Fatui disturb their work! All Abel Millilith, with me! Let's go help too! We Adepti have not faced a god in several millennia. Let one see what you are made of then. What strength remains within you, one wishes to witness. Sile's divine power. I am very familiar with it. Be careful not to get hit. Let the show begin. The Fatui! Their attacks are unrelenting! <sighs> How daring. Snezhnai's diplomats will answer for this afterward. Every last one. Wings of darkness, come, sever night from day. Ha, back off! The ancient guards attacking again! There are so many victories too! We can't look! <laughs> Were you about to say we can't hold them, children? Huh? Don't lose heart. Here, take this. This is... Adeptal energy! That light from your body! It's like the time in Julian Cars! Wow! It's Madame Pink's shockwave! This green is really strong! At the frying pan, it's the fire! Back into it! Look! Yep! I'm not going anywhere! My work! Cold cut! Chilean, I guard you against evil! Cast your fear of injury by the wayside, and fight with all your might! I too did this during the Archon War! <sighs> so this is what Ganyu's like in a fight! My name means swiftness. Take my power, and run as I do. Spirit, uh, perhaps you can withstand three forms of adeptal energy at once. This will hurt a little. Please bear with us. Once you've adapted, try to use them in battle. Yeah. <laughs> 
destruction. I fear that the god's power has reached its peak. In other words, if we hold here, there's nothing worse to come, right? Back off! Power of the Ethan Hunt dog! I amuse myself. This is it. This isn't good. Nice and spicy! Look at me! Careful now. Mm. The Guizhong Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. Uh, what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. What is the meaning of this? I understand. Traveler, lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. The effects of the Sigil of Permission last but a short time. It will be some time before the Overlord of the Vortex can make any waves again. We are indebted to you for your assistance. If the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of Liyua Harbor would surely have been in great jeopardy. Save your flattery. We didn't just happen to be here. Surely you won't pretend to have forgotten the reason for which we came. Come now. 
There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside part of her then-limited income in preparation for building the Jade Chamber. At first, it was only the size of a small room, but with continued expansion, it has become the palace that lies before you now. It is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and as the backbone of the Liu Qixing. Seeing the Jade Chamber destroyed in the defense of Liu means much to her. To me, such cooperation and sacrifice deserves at least some recognition, don't you agree? Well, I was really hoping you would say that such sacrifice could at least be used as some leverage in our negotiations. <laughs> Thank you all for hearing me out. We know very well why the Adepti came here today. But please forgive us. We cannot yield to your wishes. Oh? 3,700 years. According to our records, the Adepti signed a contract with Rex Lapis to protect Liyue 3,700 years ago. Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time, immovable as stone, just as it was thousands of years before. This is truly no small feat. But that does not mean that the Liyue of today is the same city as it was all those years ago. Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land. Instead, focus your sights on our city and each of the citizens that dwell within it. Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? Hmm... I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see Liyue in a new light. Ha! <laughs> forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. This morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. What? In the dream? I yearn to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, are equally bound to the contract. Each passing generation of the Qi Sing leaves many things of value to be inherited by the next generation. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Qi Sing had strove under his rule to survive in our mortal world. But I dared not speak. I could only gaze at- Oh, Ningguang. Yet another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? Right. That's something that happened in Mondstadt. It's a story about the Four Winds and the people of the Animal Archon. The Animal Archon sought to quell the strife between the two sides, because he believed that such conflict would only scar the hearts of both, and that nothing good would come of it. Each of the Seven Nations has its own scars from the past. Though your point is the very height of simplicity, as Adepti, we've become a laughingstock. To be chastised thus by an outlander who has lent us such suck. All right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should focus on the city and each of its citizens? I know I already have, so why not see for yourselves? I apologize for appearing in full armor. I am afraid I cannot show the proper courtesy. And who are you? I am Feng Yan, a sergeant of the Millilith. I have come to extend my thanks. I thought this battle would perhaps be my last. But thanks to the aid of the Adepti, our forces were not as badly battered as I feared we might be. Although I am a mere mortal soldier, I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the illuminated Adepti this- Hmm. <sighs> huh? Why does everyone look so down? Didn't we just beat that big monster? <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was quite the predicament. I wasn't afraid. All the strong Millilith guards were there, and those powerful heroes with their visions were there. Everyone was there. When danger is near, everyone always protects me. And the rest of the time, they make fun toys and tasty snacks and... and loads of things that make the Harp thanks for protecting Liyue Harbor. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to participate. Huh? Because we are Adepti. Oh, okay. Aww. You see, this is what Liyue is like today. 
The country of contracts is grateful to the Adepti for their protection. But it... Although their blood is... The time of contracts between gods... Hmm. Seeing the port around us now, it is hard not to feel a bit out of place. Your line of inquiry is askew. One did not spearhead this expedition. Let us return now. Eager to leave, Conqueror of Demons. <laughs> yes, one understands what the Conqueror of Demons means. The sit One fears that by the time one finally grasps the new contracts of Liyue. Fair enough. Away we shall. Hmm. Since we Adepti have consensus, then one shall persist. But how will we ensure that the Liyue Chising will not simply- <laughs> All right, Moon Carver, you needn't worry. It seems to me that this right of supervision is best left to the- <sighs> Looks like the conflict between humans and Adept- Oh, right! Child wanted to unleash the god, so- But we were able to handle the overlord of- Oh, and speaking of that, don't we still need to get to the bo- Hyman doesn't get it. But isn't the strongest lead we have the Adeptilus Rite of Parting that we're organizing? No idea where Zhang Li's going. Let's ask for him at Wang Shen Funeral Parlor. Utaoze! Songa!